Hey, Heidi Craig here from Franklin Virtual Schools. I'm going to go over a quick tutorial on how to sign up your students for an individual course, whether that is an independent study course or an SAT test prep course or an ACT test prep course, uh, any, t any kind of single course that you want to sign your students up for and, or enroll your students, this is exactly how you do it. So I am going to share my screen. And all you need to do is start at your agent portal. That's fvhsi.com forward slash agents. You will then click the log in and put in your credentials. As soon as you're in, then you're going to register a new student. So this is what's called your index. This is your home screen right here. We're gonna to go to register student. And again, this is for any single course, uh, any, this is the way to enroll a student in your agent portal. So I am going to choose register student. Then I'm choosing SAT test preparation. I'm gonna type in the first name here. And I'm gonna fill in all the pertinent, pertinent information. An uh, email, a unique email address has to be had. When you make the password, you're making this for the student. I would suggest using the last word of the last name of your student. I usually capitalize that and I use one, two, three. So in this case, it would be capital M-O-U-S-E, one, two, three. That way you have sort of a formula that you never forget and they can change it if they need to but um, you're going to need that here at the very beginning of the registration process if you use a student's birthday and they are younger than 18 it is going to ask you for the parent's name the parent's phone number and the parent's email uh, i'm going to select a date here that is under 18 just so you can see what it's going to ask for but if they're over 18 it will simply uh, have you put in the birthday just like this, and then uh, you can click on register. So like I said, I'm going to pick somebody here who's under 18. And like I said, it's going to ask you for the parent's name. We'll make Minnie Mickey's guardian for right now. And an, a unique email for that as well. So once the parent's information is in there, then you're going to go ahead and click register. That's gonna bring you to the screen that asks you for their address. And you wanna put in all of the address information. This particular student is in the US. And then the phone number transfers over. This information, additional demographic information, it's never going to be submitted in relation to a specific person's name or student's name. So please, um, you know, you can put the information in there and know that that's not going to be given away to anybody. Now, the student is now registered or what's known as enrolled because you put the information in and it's updating the course progress. But here's the important part. When you are registering your students and they're going to pay you for the course, we have a suggested retail price for each course, but of course you can charge what you want, whatever your market will bear. You as the agent are going to send the um, agent price directly to Franklin. And here it says exactly what to do. It says student is now enrolled and can make course selections and set their schedule. You're going to make the selections as the agent. You log in as the student from the log in account link above, which is right here in the upper left hand corner. So click log in. Now you're logging into the student's website. It is always important to have them watch the orientation video. Please you watch the orientation video. It's a simple eight minutes. It's going to give them the exact 
experience of taking courses online with Franklin, so that's important. But then also, even though it says what class you want them in here, SAT test preparation, you still have to select the class. So choose select classes. And then it's going to um, give you that course with the SAT test preparation. Following is a list of classes in this program that are available for you to add. If you need to drop any current classes, please contact your homeroom teacher. Everyone gets a homeroom teacher who is doing an independent study or a test prep. To add a new class, click this My Plan link. So again, this is an example of the SAT sign up for courses, but um, any single course is going to follow this same exact situation in the sense that you go ahead and enroll the student on your agent office and then you're also going to log into the student and you're going to choose their course. Um, here I've chosen just one course for the SAT. You're going to choose more than that. But then here, this is again as if the student were logged in and choosing their own courses. And what they're going to see is when it says pay classroom access fee, when they click on that, it's simply going to direct them right back to you, their education agent, to complete the enrollment, which means that they need to pay you and you need to pay Franklin. So if they've already paid you, they're going to see this or you're going to see this. It's no problem at all. It's exactly what's supposed to happen. We're going to click log out here and I'm going to go right back into my agent website to pay for the class. Once that class is paid for, uh, your student will be able to log in and literally get started. So we're going back to the agent portal here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Let me put in my credentials one more time. And I'm going to get back to my index or my home, my home screen here. I'm going to go to where it says students. Those are my students that I have registered. And it's going to show all my students. And here you're going to see Mickey Mouse. That's the one I just registered for the SAT. All I have to do is click on his name. And it shows you right here what to do. Student has not purchased class access. That's because your account is set so that they pay you, you pay Franklin. Student has not made the first visit to the classroom. No problem. All you did was you chose the class for them. So it says, click this classroom access link to purchase the classroom access, and that's you. So you're gonna pay Franklin your agent amount of 416, and you wanna click place order, and then all it's gonna ask you for is your credit card information. And all you have to do is put in your credit card information here, all the way down at the bottom, you're gonna click purchase, and that student, with that email that you put in there for them and that password that you put in there for them, they are going to be able to access their course right away, get started with their SAT test prep course or whatever single course you've chosen for them. This is how you register your students through your agent portal. It is how you pay your agent fee. And here's the best part, the commission, the profit, the extra, the difference between the retail price and what you pay on your wholesale price, that's right there in your hands. So it's money right back into your agency. So hopefully this was clear. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or to my colleague, Mike Daly, or anyone on the Franklin Virtual High School's uh, staff, uh, Kevin Miller, Brian Elmer, all of us here are at your service to help you enroll your students, pay for their classes, and get them started learning what they need to know. And we'll look forward to hearing from you.